This is 5750 here with part one of V Star. Today, I'm gonna rip this tank off of here. I'm gonna primer it. I'm gonna try to sand on this fender a little more. I'm gonna primer it. We're gonna take this. We're gonna put it somewhere. We're gonna take this. We're gonna put it somewhere. Yeah. Don't ask where I'm gonna put this. That's all it takes to take a tank off a of V-Star. <laughs> We're gonna cover up this wonderful gob stopper paint job just because I'm just gonna paint the bike one color. I feel like it's gonna sail easier like that. If I were to keep it for the rest of my life, hell yeah, that tank would stay like that, but uh, nah. Primer, some rattle can, and uh, ooh, we got the shit tip today. But uh, yeah, so it's multiple colors. I can't really tell where the low and high spots are very well. It's gonna be hard for me to throw my bondo on it until I make it one color and then see what the low spots are. But I've sanded it down pretty good. So uh, this will be the last time y'all be seeing it like this. And don't worry, I'm gonna get a new gas cap. I'm just keeping that on there to keep the tank plugged. So I don't wanna stuff a rag in it. All right, and here we go.
All right, so I've laid my first coat on it. Um, th this, this is just so I can sand it down and see where the high spots are and the low spots. And uh, I might have to pull this den out. If not, I'm gonna fill it with Bondo. I'm gonna try to fill it with Bondo. If these creases right here at the ends are too high, I might have to pull it out. But we also have dents up here. I'm gonna have to deal with. Those can definitely be filled with Bondo. I'm not gonna worry about this section right here because it gets covered. There goes my can. Um, but yeah that's the tank for now we already got bugs landing on it let me see that we already got bugs on the paint he's crawling <laughs> off my paint but yeah now I believe our Next step here is going to be peel off this pad here. It's raped. Oh, we saved it. And uh, throw away our remains. Now, I'm going to put the tank somewhere safe. And, uh, I'll start on the back fender. All right, so I'm pulling off the fender now. The bolts are just hand tied on there. And uh, you know, wiring a mess. Got the bolts off though. She just kinda. Kind of sh shimmy's on out of there. This flap is supposed to be hooked to it, but uh, it's all covered in paint from the previous owner. So uh, we're going to deal with that later. This thing is all. Ronald McDonald ready to go. I'm gonna slap a fresh pad on that bad girl. Make sure she lines up even. That's how you do it, folks. Now, now that we got the 80 grit, we gotta be careful. This 80 grit likes to sand fast. So, it's just to, it's just to, it's just to take it all down real quick. Here we go. So I'm sweating, it's hot out here. I, mean, I don't know what temperature it is. But now I'm gonna get into spraying some primer on this rear fender. 
and then I'm gonna call it a day and I'm gonna come back to y'all when it's another day and I got more time to spray this but uh, here we go so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna skip the 180 grit and then uh, I'm gonna get in there I'm gonna spray it with some filler primer I'm gonna get in there Yeah, I'm gonna let this cure for about 24 hours and then once the 24 hours is up I'm gonna have to sand this some more and uh, I still have another side panel to sand and then I have to find another side panel for the bike because it's missing one however I will see y'all when it's another day all right so it's another day and uh i'm just recording this because i didn't really get an outro to the other video but uh yeah this is how the tank turned out after painting it this is the fender i've noticed that these forks i have on this bike are actually the wrong forks so this fender that i have for the front of it is the wrong fender so um, I'm gonna have to wait till I get the correct fender for the front of it before I can give you all part two on the painting and I'm also missing a side cover so I'm going to have to order the side covers which I'll probably get chrome ones and I won't paint those but um I've ordered the forks for the bike. They arrive here pretty soon, the next few days. And uh, I will definitely be giving you all a video on that, so stay tuned for uh, some more V-Star. And uh, hope you all have a hope you all have a wonderful day or night. Peace. Yeah.